Today we're revisiting what happens if we make cement using soda instead of water. That's not the video. Brand. No. I don't know. Uh, that's how we started the last video, apparently. So <laughs> you remember we boiled some cements. Do you we remember did. that? And we, then we, we also boiled it and we added root beer to it. We did. We used root beer instead of water, and lots of people were interested, but had some ideas about what we could do to get better, more accurate results. Okay. So today we're going to try a few of those. One of them is that we didn't actually make any cement that was just regularly mixed, regularly cured. We didn't mess with it. So today we're going to do that as a control, as well as some of our other changed versions. Here's the basic idea. In a previous video, we tested some interesting things with cement, like boiling it and mixing it with root beer. Some of you wanted to see some other comparisons with the cement, so today we're trying a few different types of soda, adding extra sugar to the cement, and adding acid to see what those will do to our mix. Now you've got sugar on the table. I've heard that if you just add sugar to cement, it ruins it. Yeah, and that's what some people are saying is like, well, the sugar in the soda is probably interfering. Mm -hmm. So what we want to try is we have root beer again, okay. and so we want to do regular cement just with water. We want to do some regular cement and water, but add some sugar separate. Then we want to mix some with soda, and I've got two types of root beer. I've got root beer made with corn syrup, and I've got root beer made with cane sugar, and I want to see if that yeah, makes any difference. Then along with that, I have some carbonated water that has has no fructose, high fructose corn syrup or sugar or flavor or anything. It's just carbonated water, mineral okay. water. And then I also have some lemon juice and I want to see if the acid in this will do anything to oh, affect the cement. Okay. Yeah, so that's the goal. So we're going to mix up these six different combinations of cement and liquid. Okay. We're going to put them in our mold and we also got, this is not quick curing cement like the last step. This is slower cure, supposed to be stronger. And so we're going to mix it up, let it sit for about three to five days until it really seems to have cured, you know, properly keeping it damp the entire time, which is what you're supposed to do. And then we're gonna see what the strength of these is like. I'm gonna do half a cup. There we go, half a cup. That should fill a poop. So we can just go mixing this a little bit at a time, but I wanna measure how much we put in. So I'm just gonna be using this one teaspoon and you know, I'll start with a few stirred up and we're going for a peanut buttery consistency. Five teaspoons. Now whatever you end up using in the water is kind of what I want to use for the everything else. Yeah, that's why I wanted to measure is, is to at least see if we get consistent results. Like, okay, we used five teaspoons of water. Will five teaspoons of root beer give us the same consistency? Is mm -hmm. it changing? Oh, I think maybe one, maybe two more. Okay, this is six. I think you're probably good there. Yeah, I think that's a good amount of water. I'm just gonna mix it up a little more to make sure it's all even consistency. If this were in large quantities, it would flow a little bit, but you're not looking for runny. You know, it does stay up to a few inches high in a pile. I think that's good. These are meant for like cupcakes, so. Now that we know how much, I can go ahead and start mixing one of the next ones. Yep. So I'm starting with the root beer with sugar in it. And then I'm going to do mix with water, but I just got some white sugar and I'm just gonna add that into the cement. I didn't see anything talking about how much sugar it takes. So I'm just gonna like, oh, I don't know, if I were trying to ruin some cement, maybe that much? I'm gonna go ahead and say this is runnier. Goodness, look how soupy this is. This has the wow. same six, yeah. but with sugar added into it. And, you know, the sugar itself should like take a certain amount of water or dissolve into the water, but this is a very different consistency. Yeah, that's bizarre. I think what I do wanna try, not necessarily in a mold, although we do have some other molds we can use, I want to try mixing some up with water, getting it fully mixed, and then pouring sugar into it to see if it mixes thick and, and then, then gets soupy. Drops it. Yes, I like it. This one is going to be lemon juice. Well, the lemon one smells great. <laughs> so far, the lemon is not getting soupy. If anything, the lemon is lumpier than oh, the yeah. regular water. Yeah, it's so much thicker. That's so crazy. The lemon compared to the A&W one. The A&W one just did so soupy. So carbonated water, but with no sweetener in it at all. It's behaving like cement. This one's the, the looking, closest. Looking pretty normal. Closest to our regular water one we've gotten so far. So I think the carbonation, at least so far, seems to not be doing anything. We'll see if it affects it as time goes. We have some cement. All right, so we're gonna leave these for several days. Um, as soon as they basically start to harden, I will get a damp cloth and plastic over them because they are supposed to stay damp the whole time they're curing. And uh, so that's how we're gonna get that happening. Uh, but then in a few days, we'll pop all those out, assuming that they all have enough structural integrity and are solid enough to pop out. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how strong they are. 
Well? All right, it has been a uh, long weekend, but now we need to see how the cement has all progressed. So we've got our control. Mm -hmm. We have one where I mixed it up and then added sugar to it. We have this one where we used IBC soda, which has sugar in it. a and w which with is, corn yeah, syrup. Which is, yeah, a and root beer that has corn syrup in it. This was just straight lemon juice. This was carbonated water. And this one over here was I added the sugar before the water. Oh, okay, that's right. This one we mixed the sugar in. There's a variety of like colors and surface textures. And then our lemon one, I've noticed that I can scrape with my fingernail. So the acid seems to be making a very big difference. All right, let's see if we can pull out the control and just start with that. Oh, it's just wet. I mean, it's not as shiny as I thought immediately, but well, it's not even polished. It just came out shiny. Now I am shocked at how well the sugar It seems whipped. to have set. I don't know how strong it is, but it set clearly like it's it's durable. just so smooth. Yeah, it came out very, very smooth. It went in very, very it. liquid as a result of the sugar. And it's smoother than this liquid one. Now it could just be that the shape works better, but maybe, I mean, that one was runnier than mm -hmm. any of the other ones. So I assume that's why more able air bubbles were able to get out. It was able to fit right down into all of the nice little crevices. It's pretty impressive. That's oh, amazing. and some, uh, paper towel stuck to it, which I think happened because of the sugar. This is like shaky. It's just like when you compact a sand castle. Yeah, it's basically wet sand. Well, should we uh, see how crunchable they are? Start with nice small hits. Okay, a little harder. Okay. Okay, a little harder. Okay. Oh, our extra strong slow cure cement seems to be holding up Pretty decently strong. with some hammer strikes. We may have to scale that up and we may actually want to take these outside so we're not doing it on a workbench. But we'll do our low grade smacks. In here. In here, made with sugar. Mm -hmm. So that, that has dented the top noticeably. Well, it dented this one too. I think we have more dent here and yes. you haven't done as strong of hits yet. So True. I think we have Stronger. lower. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. It's breaking off with that medium strength hit. Let's try our a and W. Okay. So this is the corn syrup, not sugar. It's flattening, and I think I see some little cracks going on. Let's give Actual it a little hit. more strength. Well, we do have some breaking. I don't know if that was exactly the same strength as the IBC, but it seems to be crumbling in a similar manner. Yep. All right, so sugar. One of the reasons we did this whole test is because people Talk talked about, about how sugar would ruin the cure of cement. So this just has sugar mixed into it. An actual hit. Oh. oh. Pretty similar to the soda ones. It's just, we've started losing a lot of strength and compared to the control, which I think got actually harder hits than that and lost mm -hmm. nothing. So sugar is definitely ruining something here. I'll try and match your impact strength. Uh-huh. Sort of drop it. And we're getting a noticeable smush. Okay. So I, oh, that's there you go. coming apart in my fingers a little bit. All right, Good. so this one is obviously a different shape. Results may be a different. Definitely flattening. It is a stronger shape, I think. It's still not holding together the same way. No, but, but it that seems is stronger. It does seem stronger than the soda ones. Interesting. Hang on, I just wanna. Oh. Yep. Okay. Okay. I was gonna squish it. I didn't realize my finger would go through it. You really want to ruin some cement, guys. Lemon juice is Acid, the way to go. Acid, I think, straight up stops the reaction from curing. There is no cohesion. It's just falling apart entirely. All right, let's take them outside where we can hit things harder and not worry about the workbench and like just really see what it takes to break them. All right, let's do it. All right, so this is the sugar before we added water. Okay. I don't think there's much difference between the two sugars, except this one had more sugar in it. Let's just see how much impact it takes to really break this. Okay. Okay. It's bouncing. There we go. So it took several good whacks, but we have now put significant cracking in it. It actually still hasn't come apart. It's tough little sucker. But significantly damaged. Yeah. There you go. I mean, that actually held together 
decently much, well. Yeah, much better than I thought in comparison to the others. So this is the one made with the Perrier. I'm surprised at how weak that is. I don't know. We're chipping stuff off, but it hasn't completely fallen apart yet. All right. There we go. Okay, several decent wax to get it to really crack. Okay, this is sugar again. We added the sugar afterward and it thinned out the cement. Oh, wow. This one is much more wet sandy. Yeah. So this actually had, that's weird because this I think had less sugar in it than this one. And this one we just added sugar in and then we mixed it up and it cured. This one we added the sugar afterward and I don't know if that's the only thing that made a difference but this had very little structural integrity. It feels very wet and uncured inside and it broke with really very light strokes compared, like very light hammering compared to the others. Okay, so this is our A&W root beer. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's doing very poorly. Oh, and there it goes. Big cracks, falling apart, very light hits, and that just could not stay together. Look at that, crumbling to nothing. IBC root beer, made with sugar, not high fructose corn syrup. Oh. <laughs> And much like the other root beer, okay, that was a big crack, but it didn't actually separate yet. There you go. So a couple very light hits and it's just gone. That's so strange. Like it's gotta be other stuff in it. Now, I think both of these have some citric acid as flavoring and maybe that's part of it. Okay, there we go. So multiple significant strikes to get through our control. Not just pretty good wax, but significant strikes. Yeah, weirdly enough though, the one that we added the sugar at the beginning, that was basically as strong as our control. But the one where we added sugar afterward, yeah, it broke easily, it's much softer. So I don't know what's happening there. If anyone knows the chemistry behind that, I'm interested. So this is our control. We're just gonna put it in some water. Just behaving like a chunk of cement. It's not doing anything, doesn't seem to be reacting. There's no crumbling apart in there. IBC, sugar root beer. Okay, as soon as it hits water, stuff starts falling off. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's already soft out of the water, but when I get it wet, it really is just crumbling into dust. a and corn syrup. Again, clouds of dirt start coming off of it almost instantly. Clearly, stuff is not bonded well. This one is our sugar cement. The one that's acting weaker. We're getting some stuff coming off it, but it's well, not it's as- It's better than the soda. Definitely, it's not coming off as much and it's not like completely falling apart. Piece of the CO2 cement, nothing. Seems to be completely impervious to the it water. It was just weak, but that doesn't mean it wasn't curing. It was, yeah, it was weak-ish. Not tremendously weak, but mm -hmm. not strong. <laughs> and this one, the sugar added at the beginning. Seems to behave like cement. It does and it's quite durable. Sugar seems to have wrecked most of them, but this one that has a lot of sugar in it, it didn't. Like it made it flow more and then it's just solid and sturdy. Okay. What do you guys think? What do these results tell you? We obviously had the cement change as we mixed different things into it. The control was the strongest one, but the one that we mixed sugar in at the very beginning before we added the water, it's strong. Whereas the soda just completely ruins the structural integrity of them. They're basically water soluble, very lemon soft. Lemon juice though. Lemon juice just stops the reaction. So is it the acidity? Anything that's carbonated is by nature also a little bit acidic. They are often using acids as preservatives and flavors in sodas, so those could be affecting it. And then we had mixed results with the sugar. When the sugar started with it, we apparently got a very strong mixture and it was a lot of sugar. When we had about half as much sugar and we added it after getting the water mixed in and starting the chemical process, it ended up being weak and fragile. Strange results we're getting here. Is there anything else you want us to try mixing with concrete and seeing if it works? Guys, that's it for today, but you know, we've always got more great stuff for you to see. Hit that box right there to check out another one of our great recent videos, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.